I hear them. I hear white yeah, wing crossbows yeah. in there. Each winter, birds from the northern forest move south in search of food. Just how far they will go depends on how plentiful or scarce each species' preferred food source is. These movements are known as eruptions and are typical of a certain set of boreal dwelling birds. We are determined to find each of these species as they make their way into the lower 48 states. Today, we're at the Emma Carlin Trail in the South Kettle Moraine State Forest in search of one of the most unique finches that comes down from the boreal forest, the white winged crossbill. We're back at the Emma Carlin Trail trying to find crossbills. Last time we were here, we were unsuccessful even though there were a couple of other species that were hopping around in the trees. But we're hopeful that today could be the day with a lot of snow out, maybe they'll be actively feeding and we can find them. The South Kettle Moraine is a great place for eruptive migrants with other species such as pine siskins, red-breasted nuthatches, and purple finches also being frequent visitors of conifer forests. A week earlier, we hiked the trails hoping to find the crossbills with no luck. Crossbills. Where are they? Determined not to strike out again, we scanned the treetops and listened carefully for signs of these birds. The crossbills that we're looking for tend to just go wherever the food is, so they'll kind of go from patch of trees to patch of trees to patch of trees and they don't really seem to be in the same place very often so you'll be looking for them you won't see them in an area you'll come back later and all of a sudden a big flock will just come out of nowhere and land right in front of you we've had this happen a lot and they're kind of tough to look for in that regard because they just are where they are you can't really go to a specific tree and know they're going to be there they're nomads they're nomads that's why it's really important to stop and listen every once in a while too that's how I hear the most often is just listening for the calls and then kind of narrowing it down to the trees. It's rare that you're ever going to just see one without hearing it first. We walked the trails through the woods, encountering some of the more expected winter species, including dark-eyed juncos, American tree sparrows, and black-capped chickadees. We also managed to find a few less expected birds, including a white-throated sparrow and a northern shrike. That's a year bird. That's yeah, a good a bird. bird. Yeah. This is a place I always feel like they should be. They proved you right. <laughs> <laughs> so we're more in southern Wisconsin right now, but when you go up north to find boreal species, it can just be dead quiet for most of your day. And then you'll have one of these nomadic species come in feed for a little bit and then leave and then they'll vanish like they were never here at all. So a lot of it is just walking in really quiet areas until the birds kind of come through, which you never really know when it's going to be. After still not being able to locate the crossbills, we switched to the other side of the road to try and find the precise habitat that these birds prefer. The crossbills like pines because they feed on cones. So if you're looking for crossbills, you'll notice that this side of the habitat has almost no conifer trees, which means no cones. But this side of the habitat over here has a lot of pines, which is the place that you're going to want to look for these species. What's interesting about crossbills too and other winter finches is that they feed on specific types of trees or they prefer specific types of trees. So knowing what trees you have in a grove or in a section of forest like this can help you kind of narrow down what birds you might expect to find or if you're looking for specific species you can look in those specific trees. After stopping near the roadside to look at a flock of juncos and tree sparrows we heard a noise that we recognized. I hear them. I hear white yeah, winged crossbills in there. There's a bird. Oh, Is a that? Cardinal. Ah shoot. I saw some up here though. Yeah, I did too. After hearing the chirps of white winged crossbills, we were able to spot one of them in the trees, followed by a whole flock. Got one. The white winged crossbill is a medium sized finch with crossed mandibles. Adult males are reddish in color with a black tail and black wings with two white wing bars. Adult females are a mix of yellows, browns, and greens and also have white wing bars. The range of the white winged crossbill is northern North America, with their wintering range extending further into the United States, depending on food availability. They use their cross mandibles to pry open conifer seeds, and one bird can use as many as 3,000 seeds per day. 
White winged crossbills are often seen in flocks feeding on the tops of conifers and occasionally moving down to the ground to grit. Breeding occurs when food supplies are sufficient and white winged crossbills have been observed breeding in all 12 months. I think, I think they all kind of took off, but we were looking at some birds uh, kind of gritting on the side of the road here. And then we heard a ton of white winged crossbill calls and they started coming closer moved into some of these pines. We got some nice looks, uh, a nice uh, bright male in there too. And then they went back further into the forest. So that's how these birds are. They're very nomadic. You'll see them kind of pop up and be everywhere for a second, then they'll just vanish like they were never here at all. Got to cherish the views when you can get them. When we had these birds here, it sounded like the calls were coming from everywhere. Like we were just surrounded by these crossbills. And it's really cool to see them in the snowy environment with all of the, uh, the frost and the snow on the branches. And as they're moving and feeding, the snow is falling off. Really nice, uh, nice way to see these birds. How you feel? Feel good. Crossbills, man. Given its interesting beak and habit of wandering, the white-winged crossbill is a truly fascinating bird. We always look forward to years when they come down south far enough that we can find them. With the beauty of the snowy conifer forests, it was a fantastic experience being able to track down and eventually locate some of these interesting eruptive finches. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. That was a great spot. You're just like, oh, shrink. <laughs> yeah, too, you know? really no confident. Hesitation. No. How many times have we done that though? Been like, oh, it's this, and then you're like, oh, never mind, it's a squirrel nest. Well, normally you go back and it's not there anymore, and you're like, ah, oh, I don't know what it was. <laughs> what should we do now? Um, we can look for red because I know red's been. I was looking here. for write it down. Oh, you can always write it down. Check it off if you find something. Write if you down. haven't found it, you can't write it down. <laughs> if you haven't, or you shouldn't write it down. I guess you can't found write it, it down. Don't write it down. <laughs> I feel like we should call Matt Young. Be like, Matt, we're looking at some crossbells.